welcome back to vlogmas day two so i kind of had a full day already it's closer to the evening time come here mama Koda wants to go out it's closer to the evening time um almost 6 p.m i had a full day of work it's like my first day back after vacation so it was so crazy but the evening time now so i'm kind of unwinding and i wanted to get some christmas decor up i've put quite a bit of christmas decor up but i still have like little areas here and there that i wanted to complete so i'm gonna show you guys what i just finished and it kind of took me a while because working with fresh pine garlands is kind of tricky because they can fall apart and they're kind of flimsy although they give a really really good smell so it kind of took me a while to put this up but let me show you guys what i did so i put up this garland around the stairwell this is fresh pine and then this is uh, fake pine that I got from Target that's that's flocked a bit so I just kind of combined them I still want to get some ribbons to put here and some like um, bells as well to make it a little bit nicer and then this is what took me quite a while but I love the way that it turned out so this is cedar fresh cedar I think that's how you say it. it's a type of greenery and I kind of just clipped it around the mirror so it looks nice i really like it i feel like i could have done a better job if i brought it down here more but i don't want to mess with it because i didn't put it up there as securely as i could um because i'm not sure how to secure it well so i did the best that i could so we're just going to leave it like that so i don't mess it up so since we're in the christmas spirit i want to do a christmas haul of a bit of things that i got in new york when we went this weekend um i got quite a bit of good little christmas knickknacks i'm not gonna do a full christmas haul of every single christmas item that i have because it would be a while but i am gonna be doing a video of a full, my full christmas decor so i'm gonna be walking you guys through every room in the house that's decorated for christmas and i'm gonna do a detailed tour with links and all that stuff so if you see stuff throughout the house that you're interested in i'm definitely going to be doing one full video of how i decorated and all the details for that but for now let's get into the mini haul oh, oh my who are you barking at i'm gonna do it by the tree this tree over here to kind of set the mood good mercy girl i'm showing them what i bought for christmas for your home <laughs> mama loves you mama loves you baby Okay, I'm going to get started. So I got these cute houses from Target. They're porcelain and then the top is like a glittery finish. And I just put a little fresh cedar on the little stem part. And I'm going to be putting this on the dining table as part of my tablescape. I got three of them and they were $5 each. And they're porcelain, so I'm pretty sure that this will probably last me until next um, Christmas. Um, and then I got this deer from Target as well. It is a woven deer with gold antlers. It looks so cute. So this is actually the centerpiece of my tablescape. Again, I'm going to do a full video of everything once it's set in stone because I'm still playing around with the decor. Like I'll say that it's for this, but depending on how it looks, I might move it around. So I don't want to commit to anything right now, but I'll definitely, like I mentioned, do a whole video where I put everything. Right now, I just want to show you guys what I got. But I feel like this is such a different piece. So I wanted to put this on the center of the table and kind of decorate around it. And I feel like it adds some height to the table as well. So I got one of these. I wish they had different sizes, like a larger one, and I would have put it next to it to create even more height but i just got this one and then i also picked up this bead garland from target it's like this and um i think i'm gonna use this for the fireplace right here like to hang down here or i'm gonna put it on the railing where i just did the garland to create a little bit of texture um i wish i would have gotten two because i could have done both but i might go back for a second one depending on how long this one is maybe i could do it for both but i wanted to get this bead and garland because i just wanted to create texture in certain areas of the home 
This is one of my favorite finds. I got this tree. It's so cute. It's nice and fluffy. And um, I got this for my office. I'm gonna put this in my office because I spent a lot of time in my office. I mean, I work from there eight, hour, eight plus hours a day. So I wanted to create a little bit of Christmas spirit in there, even though um, I'm not gonna do like a full on tree. I wanted something. So I feel like this was perfect because it's like a chic fur tree and it was only 15 bucks. Okay, so moving on to H&M Home, I got beautiful pieces at H&M Home. Um, the first being these candle holders. So these are gold candle holders that I'm gonna use for the Christmas tablescape. I thought I got different sizes to play with height, but I guess I didn't. I guess this is the same size. This one actually bent a little bit, darn. It's all right though, we're gonna make it work. I thought I got different sizes, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, I got two gold candle holders. This is probably one of my favorite finds. These are paper Christmas tree ornaments. And I think my favorite part about this is the color. It's like a nice mauve taupe color. And I feel like this is gonna go perfect with the tree that we have in the other living area because it's like that earthy toned color. And I think the texture on it is just beautiful. Like the paper, everything about it is just gorgeous. So I love these. I'm gonna put these up on that tree. These candle holders, these black candle holders, they're both the same size. And I'm gonna also use this for the tablescape to create some contrast on the table. So it's just these two black um candle holders and these are also from h&m and then i got these reindeer napkin holders they are so cute so this goes around the napkin that i'm gonna put or the linen that i'm gonna put on top of the um on top of the plates and this is gonna go perfect with the table because i'm trying to create like a modern black greenery golden tablescape and the plates are white so this is gonna be a nice contrast to that area so i picked up two because they come in packs of four this is definitely like recycled material which is not like the fanciest but i feel like again i'm all about textures this season like i want to play around with so many different textures i don't want to stick to one particular style or texture i want to play around with textures because i feel like when you combine textures it just creates like a beautiful beautiful arrangement so i picked up these okay and again going back to textures i also found these candle holders which are fluted glass oh, guys this is these are beautiful beautiful the texture the shape it is just such a unique candle holder i'm going to potentially use these in the entryway because the entryway needs a little bit of oomph so i'm trying to still play around with these pieces as i mentioned but this is another item that i picked up that i love they're so beautiful and i feel like these are such all year round pieces like i could definitely keep these out all year round because they're just so minimal and they're very luxe i really love them also from h&m home i picked up candles to go with all the candle holders that i got and the last store that we went to was crate and barrel and there i picked up these two deer they're so cute so these are two different height deers they look like this they're so cute. And again, I wanted to get black because I want to play around with modern and earthy. So I got two different sizes and I think I'm going to use this for the entryway as well or the coffee table. I forgot to share the stockings that I got from Target. So it's these, they feel like linen, like they're very textured. Hey, <laughs> do you want to show the people what mama bought? So I got these textured stockings for this living room because i feel like i wanted to add a little bit of contrast because it is a pretty modern space um so i didn't want to get like traditional white stockings or furry stockings i wanted something that'll add a little bit of texture to the room because i feel like overall everything is kind of unified and our coffee table is wooden so i feel like it complemented the coffee table nicely so i got two of these i should have got one for you mama i forgot to get one for you how dare i I love you. So yeah, that is basically everything that I got in New York for Christmas. It's so funny because Eric and I have been talking about this New York trip for a while. And we were like saving money to shop for clothes and like, you know, take advantage of Black Friday sales. But 
when I got there, I didn't really, I don't know if I wasn't in the mood to shop for clothes or if I'm just so like focused on the house that everything that I bought was for the home, which I don't regret, but I just thought it was funny. I didn't think that we would find such great home decor finds. So yeah, this is everything that I found and I'm gonna play around with placement and kind of see what I can come up with. Cause I kind of feel a little bit stuck with the entryway. Like I don't know what to do with it. I It helped that I put up that, um, greenery because i had been wanting to do that for a while so hopefully that gives me a little bit more vision for the space but this is everything that i got and i'm so excited for christmas and to film that video for you guys hopefully i can get it up by this weekend depending on um how quickly i can get the other items that i'm waiting for so yeah we're just gonna hang out right mama we're gonna hang out wait for papas eric's gonna pick up dinner because yesterday i ordered groceries you know and i wanted to cook today but Aldi's was out of everything like they didn't they didn't have chicken they didn't have spinach they didn't have any of the fruits that I put in my car they didn't have a lot of things so we basically just got milk and oatmeal and a few other things like we didn't get a ton of groceries so I don't really have the ingredients to to cook what I wanted to cook tonight so I'm just gonna save that for tomorrow I'm probably gonna go to the grocery store tomorrow and then just have Panera for dinner today but um, yeah, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm looking forward to dinner. Dinner is served. This is my Panera order. I get a Fontega chicken panini, half, and then half of chicken Caesar salad and their green smoothie. And I'm about to go in because I'm so hungry. Coda's having her dinner too. Their green smoothie is definitely not like your traditional green smoothie where it's like has like the celery taste and the ginger. It's more of like a sweet green smoothie because I think it has pineapple in it. But regardless, it's really good and I really love it. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Who would like to go for a walk? Hello? Who would like to go for a walk? Would you like to go for a walk? Hmm? Do you want to go for a walk? Give me a paw if you want to go for a walk. There we go. Let's go, mama. Let's get out of here. Can you grab me my black beanie? What? It's upstairs in the office. <laughs> Please. You're, my jacket. You're just I up know. There. I forgot to get it. My jacket takes a long time to put on. Your daughter's ready. Put your jacket on. Huh? I'm putting it on the wrong foot. Why isn't my up going in? I think my socks are too thicky. Do I need? No, I'm just gonna wear my hood. Never mind. I'm ready, babe. Who wants to go for a walk? <laughs> huh? Ready. I just need to do a quick PSA. I'm usually the biggest complainer when it comes to walking Coda in the cold. I'm like, babe, like just five minutes. Like it's too cold. I don't want to keep walking. Today, I could have gone for like another 30 minutes. We only walked her for like 10 minutes, but I could have kept going because my, because my jacket keeps me so warm i am so happy with this purchase this is like one of those things where i have been putting off this purchase for so long but it's so worth it because even in new york when i was wearing this jacket i was literally my back was sweating even though it was cold but i was so warm in here that my back was sweating this is definitely a big winter staple that i'm gonna treasure for a while and hopefully last me a long time but if you're on the hunt for a good winter coat, I would definitely recommend this one because it is so worth it. It's a long puffer. It has a hood and it even comes with these like little um, hand. I don't know what these are, but they basically just cover this part of your hand.
I just spent the last hour and a half getting all of our ideas down for the guest room onto like a layout on canvas so that I can kind of have like everything on paper and kind of vision for the space. So I'm going to show you guys kind of my idea, my vision for the space. The holidays are coming up so we wanted to finish this space up um, before Christmas since we're going to have family over and they're likely going to be staying in the guest room so we want to have everything finished by Christmas. So I'm going to place a few orders in but I'm going to show you guys what I'm picking up and kind of where I get my inspiration for home decor. This is what I have so far. It's very earthy, lots of textures. So this bed frame we actually have in there right now. So I think I'm going to do these two for the end tables on the sides. I don't want like anything super formal because there's a big closet in there. So if guests do need space to put their clothes, they can use the closet. And then in the future, we can buy an actual dresser. On the end tables, I'm going to put a pot with palm leaves in it and maybe like a few coffee books and some candles. And then over the bed, I want to put this really cool art that I found on Society6. I'm actually checking out right now because it's on sale. It's a carpet print that's framed. And I'm hoping that it has like the carpet texture. And then this really cute lamp I'm going to put on the end tables as well. And then I'm getting this bamboo ladder so that I can put um, blankets on there. There's a few places that I'm drawing inspiration from. One of them is Hakom Home. I love her. She does such great home decor and I got a lot of inspiration from this room. I actually want to paint the wall in the guest room a similar shade just to add like an accent. And then Public 311 Design is also a great interior design page where I get a lot of my inspiration as well. I'm just going to scroll through their page so you guys can see how amazing all of their stuff is. It's just very earthy and very, a lot of textiles, a lot of texture. It's just, I love it. So hopefully I can get a combination of all these things because I just love all the texture and everything. I'm going to run these ideas by Eric and then I'm going to place orders. And then I'm going to go to bed because I'm trying to hit the gym tomorrow morning because I didn't make it this morning. I woke up right at 5.30 and I was like, oh, I'm early. I'm going to keep sleeping for another 30 minutes. And then I didn't wake up until an hour and a half later. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 2 and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.